Hi guys, it's me, Kathy, Mrs. Handy, are you? Back again. So I forgot to tell you in my last video about, um, I saw this on New Year's Day. It was so cool. Um, I'm not even sure if it still looks like that, but I, I wrote this down when I saw it. You know, I'm always talking about my Roku, my streaming device in the screensaver part. It keeps changing. And it keeps having comms in it, like about FFs and things like that. Well, New Year's Day, I woke up and the screensaver was on because I fell asleep with it on, with the TV on. And it had changed. And it wasn't just like fireworks and all that. It had northern lights and all. But the really key thing was, in it, well, okay. So in case you forgot, the screensaver that's always moving um, is, uh, let's see. So it looks like a city, you know, like it's kind of weird. It's a, it's all imaginary. It looks cartoony. Um, it's not like a real place because it's got New York and Paris and every kind of city mushed into one. So it's got like the FFs happening, um, like the Titanic going down and volcanoes erupting and things like that. But in the front, towards the front, there's, uh, it looks like, I don't know if it's a town or a city. Anyway, it's it's all these buildings, like row uh, townhouses, all in all in a row, and um, there there's no, never any people in it, you know, never any people in the building because I've sat there and looked at everything over and over again, like I said, because it's changing all the time. So um, anyway, so immediately I saw that there was a mannequin in a shop window and there was never anything in these buildings you know um so there was a mannequin remember our fake jackie and john and now i'm thinking it was jackie too because of more decoding i've done so yeah it's it's talking about that it's like okay now we got a mannequin and now we're going to let them know and we're what they're doing is they're putting things into our subconscious um, I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, seeing a mannequin, but I guess that's enough to start putting in our con subconscious and it'll be like more easily accepted, maybe. I think that's the point when things happen. Um, I think it's so exciting. This is so cool. So there was a mannequin um, and, oh, and there were two huge uh, chess pieces, almost like part of the architecture of the buildings that was added and you know we're always talking about this is like a, a 5d chess game uh, <laughs> so there was a rook and a knight one on either side of this building and they were huge um, and then there was an there was three x's on on a sign i think there was two sets of three x's and then there were two women in an upstairs window um holding hands and they were in a big, huge bathtub in a window, okay? So, I mean, that's going to get your attention um, in a window, you know, in a bathtub. <laughs> so, I, I thought that was pretty cool. And, yeah, so, I mean, that's an attention getter. Nobody's going to miss that. And they'll go, what? And I think it's because we've got at least two women Christ, you know, like, you know how I keep coming up with uh, Lady Christ and things like that. I mean, it could not, maybe it's not, but it's definitely bring your attention at least to the mannequin, you know. Okay, you see those right up high, and then the mannequin is kind of down low in another place. Um, let's see. Oh, and after the building with the mannequin, there, well, everything's, there's things in the front moving by, and what they are is kind of like a billboard. They're moving in front of all the buildings, and they're recommended movies or TV shows. So they're kind of moving by at a separate pace than the row of buildings, you, you know. So yeah, it's a little confusing, but maybe you could see it online. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Roku screensaver. Maybe somebody's put it up there. I, that'd be kind of weird, but um, yeah, so the, the recommended show goes by like a billboard and it goes past the mannequin. So it's, it hides the mannequin. 
And that's just what we were talking about with this uh, in the, remember the Life Magazine reporter? And it was about Zapruder, the Zapruder film with a Z in case I'm not saying it well enough. Um, yeah, Abraham Zapruder, supposedly, you know, this Life Magazine reporter negotiated with this Abraham Zapruder to get the to film of that wonderful film that was in just the right place at the right time, all by chance, to get the horrible thing that supposedly happened to our president, which didn't happen. Um, yeah. So anyway, so what the reporter said, I forgot what I was saying. The reporter mentions the limo rounding the corner. He said that a couple of times at least and disappearing behind a large billboard. And that's when the mannequin thing happens. You know, they were under the elevated seat and there was a trap door or a cubby under the seat. And that's where the fake Jackie and John were pulled out of. And from what I'm getting from all these decodes now, because I tell you, you, the more you listen and the more you decode, the more information you get. So it's like my theory, you know, it keeps getting better. And uh, so what they did was around that time, they jumped out of the limo and either a policeman, because it sounds like the Dallas police force, at least some of them were in on everything with them, with the good guys uh, to help. And they, it was either them or maybe the policeman was driving a cab because I've gotten police driving people and I've also gotten cab, you know, people grabbing a cab. So it's something like that. So they took off. Isn't that cool? Like they weren't even in the limo. They were in the Lincoln limo. Uh, <laughs> I get so happy. Let's see. So a billboard sign on the screensaver was going in front like I was telling you, and it had this old house, Idea House, was being advertised. And this old house is 155, and that equals Jesus arrival, um, ventilators. Remember how many times President Trump said ventilators? Now, I think that they're also used for other reasons, but whatever, I don't want to get into all that, but in conversation, while I'm saving it, says conversation almost every video like we need to have a conversation you know people are just talking at each other with little factoids and things like that that's what he says we need to have a conversation and instead of like getting upset with each other and um you know have patience and be kind right and uh anyway it equals jesus of arrival immortality um all 155. Caroline Kennedy, now that's um, JFK's daughter. No, I'm not talking about Caroline, I'm talking about Caroline. I am guiding you. I really believe that. And I told you so. That's all 155. Isn't that awesome? I mean, then we have, um, this is cute, Bob C. Twins. I'm at the age where I used to read books that were in a series and it was called the Bobsy Twins. And it was just these bumpy, silly twins and it was for young, young people to read. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so twins again, Galaxy Twins, Final Trumpet, 100, oh, 155 to go with this old house, Sea Scar on Belly. Now who is that, I wonder? Um, John Fitzgerald, 155. I am that bread of life. And Walter Disney. And remember the Hall of Presidents that I keep talking about. Um, if you look it up online, you'll see the, at least a clip from the Hall of Presidents. And it's just an, it's an attraction at Disney. And it's the presidents like life size and they're talking and they're giving speeches and all that. And, uh, and they look real, but they're not real. So that's kind of what I keep talking about when I'm, I'm talking about the um, fake automatons, robotic things in the limo. Let's see. 
Then you do Idea House, which was the second half of the sign, and that's 87. I am chosen. I think everybody's chosen for right now to be involved in, the, in one way or another, on one side or another. You know, it's just kind of predetermined where you're going to fall. I, so I think it's just like, just kind of give up on talking people into stuff. I wouldn't even bother at this point. Um, hey, I am God. I don't mean me, obviously. Um, is 87. Uh, let's see. Junior is 87. Vincent is 87. Remember our Vincent Busca? And I have my picture taken with him, so that's pretty neat. It, it was John Denver. Um, let's see. All these are 87. Black Star, and that's the, um, the light from the sun is like black, and then it's reflected on the dome that's over us. And uh, it's look up Cult of the Black Star, and you'll get a little more idea of what I'm talking about, or a little tiny bit. And it was the bad, uh, some bad guys back a ways believed in that, but I think they believed in that because I think it is true. And everybody just figured they're wrong because they were the bad guys. But anyway, um, this channel, Goj, Goj Flamaste, who knows if I'm saying it right, has a series called Crater Earth. And they, he explains it really well. And his name matches like John F. Kennedy or John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And I keep forgetting to double check on that. It's G-O-D-G-E-V-L-A-M-S. T E. So uh, let's see. So I'm still doing 87. And I was, I was saying Black Star. The voice, and that's one, right? The voice, inside job, remember? The limo thing. Um, Abe Lincoln. All right. Like, like I said, I just put things like this in because I feel like everybody needs to know that these little things that we're saying all the time mean all kinds of other things like you're going all right we'll do it all right and you're saying like junior and um i am chosen you know when you think about it let's see back in time is 87 be back soon frankly and potus and, and juan say that really often and uh let's see so frankly is vincent junior inside job Think about it that way and there's a frank island in the, that i noticed in the middle of yellowstone lake so when something happens there supposedly that's what i think um there's supposed to be a chance of a tsunami in the lake which i'd never heard of but i guess that's a something that can happen i was watching um earthquake people uh mary greeley news g-r-e-e-l-e-y and um she doesn't do decoding and things. She just does straight earthquake news. But when she was showing a map one day, I noticed that Frank Island is right there in the middle of Yellowstone Lake. So anyway, um, let's see. Another moving Roku <laughs> billboard. I didn't even figure out ro what Roku matches. But anyway, uh, was call it. This was back in, on, uh, you know, New Year's Day, so it was College Game Day with ESPN. So I did College Game Day. That's 115. That equals Human Angels, sorry, Trinity, XRP Moon, which I found out from lots of other places about that, not just from, you know, decoding. Except He is God. All these are 115. Hell is a realm. So it's like, like a, almost like a kingdom. Like when you think of realm, I, I mean, I, maybe I'm thinking of that wrong. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing at this stuff. Then ESPN is 54. And I figured it was important to look at these little promoted things because you know they're promoting shows. They're promoting movies. Like when you look at what's coming up, or you're recommended on YouTube. It's things that they want you to see, you know. Um, so anyway, ESPN is 54, and it equals RRR, 
three R's. And then we have chess and voice. And we just had a voice earlier. Um, is God, 54. Orbs. And I think I would, I don't know if you heard, but I was talking about orbs with, um, on Tom's channel, Psych Club, and I was just grabbing my little thing that happened to me with a huge one. It, and it wasn't on video, it was like next to me. And um, I won't go into it now, but a, another time. Code Red, and that was 54. So that was it for my little um, look into New Year's Day with all my Roku stuff. So it was the mannequin, the chess pieces, um, all tied into Zapruder. I mean, it's it's so cool. So that's that. <laughs> um, now let's see, what should we work on? I have so many little packets of things. So I did another Sherlock. I do them like every day now because I keep finding out more about what happened with JFK and Jackie. And likely we'll find out more about other things, not just that. So if you guys look into it, you'll probably find out things too and we can all help each other. So <clears throat> I did the Naval Treaty and that was, let's see, that was with Jeremy Brett. It was a video, not a radio episode. And I did, after that I did Case of the Imposter Mystery and it was a little short one that was with the uh, Sheldon Reynolds. So, and also thinking about the other Sherlock, you know, the newest one with Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, I had a video quite a while back that's still around, and it was me trying to figure out who was playing. I call them the Bidens. And if anybody doesn't think there's more than one or whatever, just look at the ears, they change. They're, and for one thing, they're not the same as uh, the Joe Biden that we remember, Senator Joe Biden. So, you know, that, that the ears are like the low, you know, I, I know my ears are weird. I have one attached and one not attached and everybody thinks I'm wearing a mask, which is, I'm not, you know. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, yeah, he, he has an earlobe, I don't remember which one, but just look at comparative photos. Look for pictures. First look for Senator Biden, not President. So, and then you'll see some older pictures and his forehead's different. I mean, it's completely different. It's a different angle, everything. Um, and then look at, look at Senator Biden's ears compared to Senator, uh, President Biden. Just look at that. And you'll know that it's not him. So people that get mad at, um, you know, oh, he's passing this and he's passing that. Well, he's a he's one of us, and I think he, one of them is Benedict Cumberbatch, and another one is Jane. Uh, <clears throat> what's his name? Sean Connery. And from what I can get, go back and look at that video, in case you haven't seen it. It explains it better than I'll go into now. So, uh, yeah, the eyes are different. I mean, sometimes they're blue. Sometimes they're super super dark, like weird dark sometimes they're not as dark um yeah yeah so anyway uh so anyway let's see so oh first i'm sorry first is the case of the imposter yeah case of the imposter mystery with sheldon reynolds so i had it backwards so i've just got little phrases that i wrote down after three o'clock, when sun, the sun came out, oh, this is me, sorry, this isn't even from that yet. <laughs> um, after three o'clock, when the sun, so three o'clock pops up right away in this video, but after three o'clock, when the sun came out, after God created the eclipse, you know, remember he made the skies dark, well, it was an eclipse, supposedly to hide Jesus suffering, but Anyway, so three o'clock was mentioned frequently on this episode, and there were five by fives all over the place. Um, okay, so here we go. This is my way of securing your future, and that's for us, you know? He's securing our future for all of us. Um, and then in the front, in the foreground, 
in a, in a scene that's quite quite a good long scene you see these two candlesticks and they are on either side and they don't have any candles in them they're just candlesticks and i think what it was doing was the the, the camera was on the inside of a, a home or maybe it was a shop and looking out and the candlesticks were on either side and all that you could see was that and Sherlock and Holmes talking way, way in the road out front. So the candlesticks were what you noticed, especially that they didn't have candles. So that goes back to Revelation 11 again and, you know, beyond that, um, like candle stands. So, okay, I got that. Um, and then, he, and then we have a, another thing that was said in this video, part of a vast, intricate plan. I wonder what that's referring to. And then we have not really a reporter. And that's what the deal is with the in the Zapruder episode we did. Um, I say we because I feel like you guys helped me too. So not, not really a reporter. And he wasn't. The life reporter that bought the Zapruder film was part of the alliance, if you want to say alliance back then. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll learn more about our mysterious friend when he gives his interview. So we're going to see him give an interview, our, our POTUS 35, and likely Junior, you know, maybe together, maybe separately. I don't, I'm not sure. And then it says, do you bring good tidings you know and that's like gee, we're talking about jesus now that the time of jesus good tidings of great joy and it shall be unto all people right so and then the next line i mean this was all very close together it wasn't spread out it was very close together the candlesticks all that and learning about him in his interview do you bring good tidings we shall be there at the appointed hour uh, yeah, at 8 p.m. tonight, and I get decodes of be ready at 8 a lot when I'm working on things like with President Trump or Juan or, you know, things like that, or George. Be ready at 8 are a lot of matches. So I would, wouldn't be surprised if 8 o'clock, especially where I had it in this show, um, be, we shall be there at the appointed hour that's what I think. It's going to be at 8 o'clock on a, on a night. There'll be an interview. And then all of this is one after the other. Truly, it is. And then it says, your name will be on the lips of every man, woman, and child. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be on every TV screen, every phone, everywhere. It might even be on stadium TV screens so people can watch it together you know, like a revival or something. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I think that's what's going on. I really, really, really do. 100%. It will be necessary to surprise is the next line. And then the next line says, Mr. Holmes, what is it? Instead of saying, who is it? He says, what is it? And that's like, in the limo after going behind the the sign like we talked about in the other episode um you know the limo's out of sight of the reporter's van which is important because they were all in the same van moving along with everybody so they were the ones who were taking the real videos and the photos and things so likely when they went behind the sign and the life reporter said they went out of view he's trying to say that as a reporter, you wouldn't be able to see them. Now, he wasn't really a reporter, the guy giving that interview about the Zapruder film, but he's referring to the van, you know, what was able to be seen, what wasn't able to be seen, because it was all planned. So, um, let's see. It will be necessary. So what? Because it wasn't a people, it was uh, things, you know, robotic dummies or whatever you want to call it. And then he says, why it's putty, P-U-T-T-Y. I know I said it sounds like P-U-D-D-Y because I'm, I'm weird how I talk, but putty. 
So you talk about somebody who's being an imposter, who's impersonating Sherlock Holmes in this episode. So the guy's pulling, uh, trying to pull off that he's Sherlock Holmes. And so he added disguise on it, he added putty to his face. So he said, disagreeable stuff, putty, the way it sticks to everything. So I don't know, I wonder if maybe there'll be bits of, you know, like I think I've said this before, bits of um, whatever is left behind, maybe in the cubby underneath the raised seat that they sat on top of, you know, can remember their, their seat was much higher than the front seat where, you know, the Texas governor was sitting with his wife. And they were way, way up high. So there was room underneath the seat for those things to be pulled out. Um, and maybe there'll be some stuff left behind on purpose that will help figure this stuff out. Like, you know, help people to believe what's going on. And then at the end, this is all of the, this is a very short video. It's only a half hour. And then at the end, this policeman says, my head feels quite light. Like, like the fake boom with the head and the, the robotic thing that went boom, you know? And like I said before, one of you guys sent me the photo of, um, maybe it's from the Zapruder film, now I can't remember, but it's a, a still photo of a little box on the back of the um, Lincoln limo, you know, that it looked like Jackie was going back to get. Now, I've got a feeling that that was edited in to the Zapruder film. That's just what I think, because I don't, I don't think that was really Jackie, because it sounds like they both took off the more I do all the stuff, you know, decoding stuff. It doesn't sound like just one left, um, like Jackie just left. Um, it sounds like they both left, so I think they were both dummies. So when you see her scrambling to the back, I've really got a feeling that it was added. Because people were in such shock after that happened, they wouldn't even remember if she did that. And, you know, seeing those photos over and over afterwards, it's kind of like, well, kind of like what he said, the, the Life reporter said about the Zapruder film, that when they published those black and white photos and not the video, that it kind of uh, went into the American people's psyche. And that's the way they remember it, you know. So everybody th thinks they remember seeing her on the back grabbing at that thing and I think it was there for us to find and go wait that was some kind of mechanical box thing what what's going on why would that be there you know like it's supposed to make everybody start questioning what's really going on um yeah that's so funny my head feels quite light <laughs> uh let's see now we're on to uh the naval treaty N-A-V-A-L treaty and it's Jeremy Brett. The opening scene is a big deal. I mean, even even when things are quiet, they, they watch the scene and you'll find something that you're supposed to notice. So the opening scene, there's a storm outside, huge storm with lightning and it goes on for a good couple of minutes. And you see two marble uh, busts in the garden. So it's outside of a home in a beautiful garden, but the, there's a storm happening and the lightning lights them up. First you see the man and then the, it pans around and you see the woman. So you got two marble busts. You have the man and the woman. So to me, that's like John and Jackie, not real again. And then um, there was help me was shouted at least five times. And that's 59. And, you know, the reason I did that is because it was said more than once. And, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I would have done Help Me if it wasn't said several times. The only other time I do a phrase that's not done more than once is if it's something really unusual that jumps out at me. And then I'll do that one as well. Otherwise, I, like I said, I'm getting a bump on my finger from writing so much. So... You know, I, <laughs> I just write all the time. Let's see, help me is 59, and that equals con job. It's a con job. The game, no fear. Joker is 59. 
It's a joke. It's not real. Face mask is 59. Accident is 59. Third is 59, because we're always talking about three in the Trinity. Um, here I am is 59. And Adamic man is 59. <laughs> so Joker, I mean, how much more do we need to know? You know, I feel like it's just getting proved over and over again. Um, let's see, Holmes. This, somebody, I, yeah, Watson was calling for Holmes, and he said it five times or so. So we have two times where we have fives. So we have another five by five. Holmes is 72, and Mischief is 72. Avenger. <laughs> Roper, like R-O-P-E-R. And uh, that makes me think of people's necks. You know, I don't know. Um, let's see, bullet, uh, upgrade, and that made me think of DNA, you know, the junk DNA we have. I am alive is 72. Um, Harvard is 72. And remember JP, Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. went to Harvard. He was in the Hasty Pudding Club. I talk about that all the time, which meant that they um, did the women's roles as well. So that's what he, he's done that. He, you can call him an actor. And Baby Boy revealed, because he became junior, revealed the team, because it's a bunch of them, Greek God, a Zeus, I guess things like Zeus and Apollo, often, then we have Sherlock. Well, I, I did Holmes because he said Holmes so many times. Then Sherlock is 91, and that equals Phoenix, you know, rising from the ashes. The father, who is God? How about this one? Who is our 17th letter? I mean, we were doing hashtag who is 17th letter all through Twitter for a long period of time. Um, Deception is 91. Greek, God's plural, 91. Walking Dead, or the show, remember? Uh, Walking Dead. Well, I think that that show was put on with that title just because of what's going on. There's so many things that are coded everywhere. So, let's see. Jack Ruby. And remember how Juan said, I, I just mentioned this in another episode, but Jack Ruby uh, Juan said uh, the reason Vince Fusca held up the sign that said Ruby Cute in the very, very beginning of all this uh, was because he said, Jack, isn't it cute how you didn't, uh, yeah, Jack Ruby, isn't it cute how there was no blood when you shot Oswald? So if you go back and look, there's no blood or anything like that because there's video of that. In, in the jail, I mean, very conveniently, there's video of Jack Ruby, you know, but that's because the Alliance people were in charge of all this stuff. Um, let's see, cold moon and dark moon, so we're back to the eclipse again. The hammer, and uh, I thought it was cool that Roseanne matches 91, you know, Roseanne's had one on what, several times now, and uh, Yes, so her name is 91, and it equals who is 17th letter, and, and it equals Jonathan, and that's with an H, you know, how you spell Jonathan. Uh, radical left, and how many times have, has that been said on the news? So when you think about somebody saying that, they're saying who is, you know, and the father, so radical left equals all that, and applause equals 91, like it's a uh, movie. Oh, my microphone fell down. I don't know, there's no way to tighten this thing here. I hope you could hear me this last bit. I don't know sometimes. I feel like somebody's out to stop me from being heard, you know? I know that's stupid, but I have such sound issues. And this is a uh, microphone four. And I, we took the little there was some kind of thing, uh, foam thing over it. I think it was for if there's wind, 
or something like that. I didn't know it came off, so my husband, or Mr. Handy, took it off. And um, I asked him if we could tighten this thing so it didn't move, and he said, no, that's not, you're not able to tighten it. So now it's like falling down. I don't know. Um, Sherlock Holmes altogether is 163. It's interesting. It has a 63 in it for 1963. It equals make America great again. So that's not a coincidence. God is really here. Full armor of God. Digital soldiers is 163. Uh, remember General Flynn said that? We're digital soldiers because we're using our digits and we're typing all the time. A wrinkle in time. And you know what you, I was just thinking as I said that, um, the guys that are the special people, like I like to call them, like General Flynn, Junior, um, President Kennedy, I'm not sure if I can think of anybody else right now, but their first finger, I think it's on their right hand, is always crooked. And I think that's something to do with Sabmyk, S-A-B-M-Y-K. You know, look, look that up. I'm not sure. I, I haven't looked into that enough to really understand it. Uh, I know there's something called that on Telegram, but there's not much for postings. Um, so anyway, but they talk about a crooked finger, you know. It's a sign of something. Like maybe, I think maybe it's kingship. Um, let's see. 163 is also, we are God twins. Isn't that cool? So we got twins again. Almost every time I talk, I have twins. I don't have twins, like, you know. <laughs> um, survivors is 163. And Aloha to Dark Moon. I thought that was, I put that in because it just jumped out, you know. Like, you know, it, this is God talking to you. I mean, you know that there's a million answers to these things. And when things hit you, it's like it hits you in your spirit, you know. Like, you feel like, oh, wow, that's important because I, I think if you do these things you'll get different answers because everybody's different so you know don't expect to get what I get and just just find out what you're supposed to find out you know and no, there's nothing wrong with that at all it's perfect so aloha to dark moon and I'm thinking okay every time I see dark moon it makes me think of eclipse you know like um, I mean one would think more of a dark sun, but, you know, we're always told to be th think mirror. So possibly you're supposed to think mirror. And, oh, I didn't even mention mirror matched Sherlock up above. So you have mirror involved in all this in Sherlock Holmes. So you can also say think mirror on the dark moon. Like maybe it's a dark sun. And I, I've gotten that quite a bit, like a dark sun. So, and then you have the Hawaii Alerts alert lately and talking about in two weeks be prepared or something like that now I don't know if that's real I'm not really sure but a lot of people seem to think it is I, I'm not sure you can let me know what you think or if you have some more interesting video or if something that explains it like an article from Hawaii or something like that that would really be helpful so all that was Sherlock Holmes, 163. Sorry, I'll do again. Oh, and Rosie got back from the vet. She was she's been really sick in the last couple of days, and uh, yeah, I mean I'm taping a bunch of these almost at the same time, so it's it's kind of confusing. But um, yeah, she's okay, and she's gonna she's got some antibiotics, but she's having a hard time breathing and everything, so she'll be fine. So, in this episode, Holmes shot the wall, you know, with his handgun, and he shot the wall in a VR, you know, and I'm thinking it was for Victoria Regina, you know, from back then, but the VR equals 40 in simple gematria, and you know, I keep forgetting to say A is 1 through Z is 26, and I use gematrix.org, you know. Sorry, 
I'm sorry if you're new. Uh, VR is 40, and then I am, and then our 17th letter is 40. I am back is 40. David is 40. RV is 40, and I'm not really talking about a camper. Toad is 40, and it makes me think of our frog that's called Pepe, you know, the little mascot guy. And um, it's funny, too, because my grandmother always, when she was missed at me when I was a teenager, she lived with us, and um, or we lived with her, whatever you want to say, she, she used to call me a toad, you know, and uh, she wasn't really mad. She was just giving me, a, giving me grief. And uh, so I call my kids that when I'm missed with them, you know, I'm, oh, you're a toad. Anyway, I thought that was funny. And uh, our Pepe would say, Keck, remember? Well, I'm sure you do, do know that. And, you know, K-E-K, -E well, that's 27. And for some reason, that equals JFK. I think that all of that has been planned. That, that, that little guy and that little symbol didn't come, that little K-E-K -E didn't start by chance. That was kind of put out there by the, the good guys, you know? Um, and then the next, the next line I wrote down from this, this show, The Naval Treaty, is writing is a woman's. Like he's looking at a letter and he's like, this, this writing's a woman's. And I'm thinking like biblical, you know, I mean, so many things are referring back to the, the, the Bible when, when I do the decoding. Um, and, then, and then he says, Watson says, no, a man's really. To, and, and then Sherlock says, no, a woman's. So that was a definite reference to uh, something. He gave me several delicate missions of trust which I managed to conduct successfully. And I'm thinking, you know, remember Ray Edward Kacha? Remember, I finally figured out somebody, one of you guys told me how to say it. It's a Croatian name, K-O-C-E-J-A. And uh, Ray Edward Kacha, um, anagrams to Jack Ordered Away. Did I say it right? Yeah, Jack Ordered Away. So he was told, to not be in the limo by somebody b beyond him. Uh, yeah, like that, that's, that's what this sounds like. He gave me several delicate missions of trust, which I managed to com conduct successfully. And then the next line, nothing should leak out. Remain behind when the others go without fear of being overlooked. Um, in other words, <laughs> You remain behind, get out of the limo, and take off. Uh, treaty was mentioned, the Triple Alliance. I remember we're always talking about the alliance. The, the Triple Alliance. Remember the Trinity, all that? Ascendancy, which is a big deal, but that's in here, right? Ascendancy. Um, and then they showed a watch, and the time was 7 Oh, 09 and 7 is God's perfect number and 9 is the most high number so that was cool and then to my surprise it was a woman so again with the, the woman okay they're bringing that in all the time now and I'm getting decodes with um, there's a woman Christ you know so I'm, I shouldn't be surprised about that this woman you never noticed her and I'm thinking, who is it, Jackie, Carolyn, Melania? I don't know, going way, way, way back. I must have dropped off for a moment. And there's, there's a guy talking about he must have fallen asleep for a moment to um, the, the, one of the characters. But when you read, just read it and hear it, I must have dropped off for a moment. Sounds like JFK and Jackie getting out of the limo. Um, that's what I'm thinking now. And I know I, I wasn't saying that before. I was saying that they jumped in the concealment area under the seat, but I, I really think from all these other things that they just left the limo, likely when it was behind the sign and the reporter's van, the press van, couldn't see them. Um, let's see, document was gone, 
of the utmost importance, like the missing things that we're always talking about, and then concealed himself on the corner, just like that reporter kept, kept saying, on the corner, around the corner, on the corner. So concealed himself, took off. Um, again, he's, then he said, on the corner again. See, yeah, three times he said that. Um, on the corner equals 135. So we have 35 again, POTUS 35. Raymond Kacha, God's birth name. I think that's what that is. Raymond Kacha. I'm not sure. Does It kind of makes sense. I don't know. Um, Omega Lord Kacha, K-O-C-E-J-A. God came to earth. Um, the Art of War, which is President Trump's book that he wrote, one of them. That's 135. So when you look up The Art of War, you're going to find all this. Um, boom, boom, boom. F A L F E F L A G Event. False fluffy thing. Event. So, on the corner, just like the Life Magazine reporter said in that little video about the Zapruder film. Um, yeah, on the corner equals that fluffy thing. Immortality. Um, Saint Germain, and that's with an E. Sometimes you see it with an E, sometimes without an E. Um, and this Saint has an E, which I know is not the way we spell it. I'm not sure if they spell it with an E in France or not. Um, anyway, this has an E on the end of each one. And uh, that's one of the funds that's supposed to be opened at Christmas and Easter. I don't know for sure or anything. Financial freedom matches 135. And this is my favorite one. I, I seem to have favorites in these things. And this is... um. So this matches on the corner, 135. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. And that's like from Monty Python that uh, they're, they're doing the skit on the Black Plague, which seems to be fitting for the time being, you know, with the, the illness and everything. <laughs> I'm not dead yet, he says, you know, and they're taking the, they're piling the bodies on the cart and wheeling them away. I don't know. If you haven't seen Monty Python, you should look it up in the little skits. They're hysterical. Most people have, though. So, door closed, unlocked, and then wife on the corner. And that's one of the reasons I keep thinking, okay, the wife on the corner, too. So, she got out and took off as well. And that's why I think one of the many reasons I think Jackie was also, it was a, a fake Jackie in the car and that the Jackie reaching for that black thing on the back of the trunk was added into the film and the video and the, the photos especially after um, you know edited and added to we ran so here we go um, wave on the corner we ran and then they mention a seven raining since 7 p.m. Uh, p.m. sorry left any traces so I'm thinking, you know, the limo again. I mean, I know you're sick of hearing the word limo, but traces. Is there something there left behind in the cubby area or on the seat, maybe? What did you do next? I was the victim of an accident. Accidents in diplomatic circles. Now, can you see how this all ties together? Um, not affected your sister's devotion. So another reference to a sister, a strong supporter of the conservative party. The wedding, this is a big deal, this one. The wedding is planned for September. Okay? The wedding. What do you think? The wedding is planned for September. That was said twice in the episode, and then there was more references to wedding beyond that. I'm wondering if that is when we'll see people, but 
you know, I've been wrong so many times. Like, I wouldn't listen to me. Um, or it could be like a year ahead or something. Who knows how long this is going to take? I mean, it could be years for all I know. Um, let's see. Yeah. And then it's, and then, then another, sorry, another line. As the eldest son inheriting my father's business. You know, like the eldest son. I don't know. That, that is a big deal to me, too. I do apologize. Remember? They, they likely will say they're sorry for upsetting us, but that they would do it again. You know? Um, I feel better, it says. <laughs> Not dead yet. Um, we hired a hansom, meaning a cab. And, and, you know, it was a horse and trap or whatever it was, it was called. But anyway... Um, we hired a handsome, and I wrote down cab, and that's another reason I'm thinking they, they got in the vehicle and left. We made one serious mistake, which I blame myself. So, blame himself. There was no other crime. Uh, JFK planned his own demise, really. Um, paper of importance. And then, full examination. And it was, the line is, full examination of the kitchen, because they were searching for a document. Um, but full examination makes me think of, um, you know, on the table at the operating room at Parkland Hospital. And uh, the fake officer tippet, which was in my last video, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was all pretend. And that he was, you know, everybody thinks he was the one on the operating room table, but I, I don't even think he was there because Officer Tippett ends, ends up matching, like, it's all a hoax, and, you know, J.D. Tippett matches, it's all a hoax, and things like that. Um, no sign of the document. Limo went behind a huge sign. So they, they use the word sign in here, look like looking for the no sign of the document, but you can also use it another way. And the limo went behind a huge billboard, like a sign. Um, I waited in an agony of suspense. Police officer drove me to Waterloo. So was it a real cab? I doubt it was a real cab. I mean, it's probably a police officer in a cab, you know, um, driving them away. Let's see, your brother, and I'm thinking, you know, that could be referring to the fake dummy under the seat, um, was sleeping down here in this room, you know, like down under, down here, your brother, you know, <laughs> in for a long journey, like, yeah, probably was, what a love, and then Sherlock picked up a rose from a bouquet, he was talking to the client, and he started going off in a rapture about a rose, you know. So, what a lovely thing a rose is. And then, rose is 57. It's me, Kathy. Um, it's George. I'll be back. Deceived. Um, crawl. Like, pulling the thing out from underneath it, and then they were crawling off. Appear. Um, and then nothing as necessary as a religion. This is when he was still talking about the rose. Nothing is necessary as a religion. Because religion binds people and hurts people, I, I think. And I think that's the whole point of all this. And that's what Juan has been talking about. Um, you know, following Christ is the important part. And God. So, anyway... Uh, Nothing is necessary also can refer to nothing happened to him. And then a highest assurance of the goodness of providence. And he's still talking to the rose. Um, any prospect of solving this mystery? And then um, Sherlock Holmes says, I suspect myself. In other words, JFK, whoever had him help plan it, were the ones that planned it. I suspect myself. Your advice is excellent. It's very excellent, like Proverbs, things in the Bible. That's the way I looked at it. False hopes, fake. Protecting her loved one. And I'm thinking like us, protecting us. 
a statesman, this is the, probably the best part of this decode, a statesman might find himself that he was not sorry, okay? A statesman might find himself that he was not sorry. Honorable record, George, I want you to do something for me, George. Find the cab that made the fare. Probably the policeman, you know, or whatever. Under some sort of cloud. And that's, to me, that's God. He was a cloud by day, a pillar of fire by night for Moses and the Israelites. Under some sort of cloud. I'd make yourself scarce. Um, and remember Ray Edward Kotcha anagram, like I said just a few minutes ago, Jack ordered away. And that's like, I'd make yourself scarce, like, get out of here. And uh, let's see, five minutes was mentioned. And then again, a five was shown on a framed in a, like, by a doorway. So there was just the number five in a frame, right by the door where this, the Sherlock was standing. And it makes you think of, well, framing somebody. And I wouldn't feel too bad about framing George H.W. B., you know, because he did tons of stuff that he needed, you know. Anyway, there was way more than that that we were talking about with JFK. Um, let's see. Five minutes. So there was a five by five because there was the framed five. And um, I shall do what you say. Like, get out of the limo. Look for secret doors, like under the raised back seat. And then they said trap door. Um, let's see. Oh, at 28, I noticed the timestamp. I mean, normally I do a lot more with timestamps, but lately I've had been taking so many notes that if I keep stopping it constantly, I'll never get anywhere. Um, 2846, so 46 for POTUS 46, is um, JFK. I am a very busy man, and I bet he is. And if he's watching, boy, we love you. <laughs> you know, more than I can ever say. Um, vital to the national interest. In my last 53 cases, and that's a reverse 35 for POTUS 35, and then Sherlock was yelling on this one, you will work with me and not against me. And that's like, work with Jesus, don't go against him. Work with God, don't go against him. All these nine weeks, and nine is the high, most high number. We have an appointment in church in September. So that, that keeps coming up. Um, much faith. And then your brother and Holmes, oh, I'm sorry, your brother, so brother comes up again, like there's more than one, and I, I, someplace else I've got and your assistant, there's an assistant. So it's like there's two of them, like Junior and JFK together are brothers. Um, Holmes was wearing a white hat and a white suit, and you never see him ever in a white hat. So it was pretty neat. He usually wears a black like top coat, I guess, and black pants. And he carries a cane. He has a black, you know, he's just all in black. So the white hat really stuck out. And um, and then he said, so your brother, and then the white hat, and then, then came your sudden return. There was always at least two of you. There we go. Always at least two of you. Regaining his treasure, and that's us. We had, he had another chance, and that sounds like at salvation. I saved myself, I saved myself, an infinity of trouble. And infinities, you know, never ending. It's like the eight on eight coon, um, the, that symbol, that's infinity. Um, yeah, or sideways, and uh, I saved myself caught him red-handed, and I know that's like a common thing in all these kind of detective things, but red is 27, and JFK is 27. 
um, could have come in through the door, uh, let's see, the, the, the trap door, I'm thinking, make good his escape. You don't think he had any murderous intentions, do you? Like there was no murder on 11-22-63. And that's why they said, you don't think he had any murderous intentions, do you? And then Mr. Joseph Harrison, and there was Joseph in there because there was Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. And then he becomes Jr. Um, let's see. She knew, and I could have decoded all these names and I didn't do it in this episode. You know, Joseph Harrison and all that. Uh, you guys can do it. Maybe you'll find out more about what happened in the um, the escape plan. She knew nothing of her brother's criminality because he wasn't a criminal. And I keep coming up with this. Jackie, only, was she only acting as his wife? Was she really like, a, like not literally a sister maybe, but like a sister in Christ? And they pretend, like Melania and Carolyn. I mean, I know that's even way out there more, but it's just weird that that just keeps coming up. She knew, the, the sister thing pops up all the time. She knew nothing of her brother's criminality. Um, and to me, all this was a necessary hoax. You know that, right? It was, it was all necessary because they had to come back and save us now. It was planned from the beginning way 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 back forever ago i shall go down at once and explain everything and that's like kind of a reference to going down under the cubby under that raised back seat uh secret cubby you know thank you for restoring my happiness and all of these things that are taken from us will be restored so restoring um, Mrs. Hudson says, Mr. Holmes, hot water, and she had said that in the beginning, I hadn't written it down, but it was at the beginning and now it's at the end. Um, alpha and Omega, I guess you could say too. So hot water is 110, and um, coming Lord is 110, and President is 110, so saying hot water twice, she's saying President, accidental death. So president and accidental death, in quotes, matches the same thing, 110. Um, Sparrow, which was Junior's um, Secret Service name, and Lark, well, no, I'm sorry, it was Lark was actually his Secret Service name, but Lark is a type of Sparrow. I guess that's the point. So Sparrow was in here. The Combat Kid, right? So. Joseph Patrick is gone in the bombing thing in uh, World War II, the bombing incident. Then he comes back as our junior, and that's why, and there's a whole episode about that that explains all that, about Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr., so if you're confused, go back and look at that. And I might have a little bit other theory about JFK disappearing that's not quite as up-to-date as this in there, but I, I can't remember. But anyway, it kind of explains at least the Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. and the JFK Jr. tie-in and how um, JFK and Jr. are really brothers. Then that's how come twins come up because they were born twins. I mean, it's, it, it's all explained back in that other episode. Um, let's see, I have a little bit more. Oh, because of the September and marriage and all that popping up all the time, I thought I would try this on my own. So I put in, um, in matrix.org, I put in marriage in September. That's 198. And that equals President J. Kennedy. I, you know, like, why should I be surprised? Marriage in September equals President J. Kennedy. Rise to the occasion. Phoenix, right? It's not, doesn't match Phoenix, but it's similar. Rise to the occasion. President Trump is 198, which is marriage in September. Calm before the storm is 198. The last trumpet. I love you, Jesus. Um, elephant in the room is 198. 
20 years ago is 198. Remember our junior had disappeared 20 years before um, in the plane crash. Let's see. Tell me who you are is 198. And then this is really cool. My birth date, I, well, not my whole birth date because the year isn't in there, but um, my birth date is November 14, and that matches President J. Kennedy and matches President Trump. I don't think that's a coincidence. The greatest secret is 198. The heavenly goddess who are alive and remain also matches doppelganger doubles is 198 and run for it marty and that's from back to the future which is time travel that matches 198 here comes our man is 198 matches marriage in september uh let's see what else do i have i just uh let's see jacks now i don't know if this is important or not but it jacksonville Florida comes up. Just put that in the back of your mind. I don't know. Just kill me already is 198. <laughs> um, my mind is blown is 198. So I think all these, like I said before, all these little thick, funny phrases that we say, my mind is blown and all that. I think it's been put into the, the stuff that we say just on a regular basis by the good guys. You know, through through movies and TV shows. God's hidden witness, 198. Then we have, okay, so think back to what I've already said. President J. Kennedy, President Trump, um, the last trumpet. And then we have the resurrection is also 198. So that's that for the Naval Treaty. I think maybe that's enough. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you stuck around this long, kudos. And uh, like, I think I, I don't remember if I said it in this video or not, uh, that Rosie was sick, but she's okay. So, you know, she went to the vet and medicine and all that stuff. So that's why she hasn't seen her. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll save this for another day. So <laughs> love you guys. I hope everybody's doing well and taking care of each other and uh, try to make friends on the, on Telegram and things like that and uh, on YouTube comments. You guys can keep in touch, you know, if you want. I don't know. It's just a thought because I know a lot of you are alone in all this. So, you know, just, just think about it. And uh, anyway, like I said, I love you and I love your comments. And thanks for sharing your my video and thanks if you donate thanks a lot for that and anyway take care bye